But how do you overcome that mindset that if I don't fill out the space, I'm not going to get the marks? Like, what would you say to a student right now who showed you their response and you could see that they had clearly just tried to say as much as possible? In preparation to your exam, when you are writing and you find that you're writing too much, often you're just repeating yourself. Often you're just reiterating a point in a different wording. Um, so be wary of that. And how you can be wary of that is you just read over again your writing um, out loud. Sometimes it helps or get someone else to read it for you. Yep, just make it super concise and don't overcomplicate things. I think a problem of mine was to overcomplicate ideas. Um, and I would do that a lot in English. And in the exam, if you were kind of running out of things to say, but there was more space left over, would you say, just move on to the next question? What would you say? What strategy would you use if you, you got a question for which you did not have enough content in memory to respond to that? Would you say you're better off just moving straight on to the next question to make sure you don't lose marks due to time wasted? This is last resort sort of option, but you do like a little asterisk. Um, and input your little notes in there, but I'm not quite sure. I think moving on to the next question would be a good idea. Um, and for exam questions, I think if, if you do end up in that situation and you do have to move on to the next one, just make sure that you plan, you take time to plan your response beforehand. Otherwise, you're going to end up in that same situation again. And what would be your key tips, let's say two or three tips for preparing for extended response writing for those sections and for the actual writing itself? Scaffolds of what you're going to say, sorry, what you're going to write. So you should people make a scaffold for every key syllabus dot point? That's what I tried to do, yes. But um, if you analyse your syllabus properly, you're going to know that there are many, many overlaps, but like you only see those overlaps over time. Uh, when you've really understood the whole syllabus. Did you do, I, I'd be interested, um, I'll frame it this way as well. Did you memorize any core materials there that you kind of, or you practiced so much that you found you were constantly saying the same arguments for similar types of questions and that allowed you to be a bit faster and more efficient on the day? Yes, actually. Um, I did sort of memorize those arguments, but I had a full, I had a, I had a bank of arguments that I would use in different situations for different questions also with extended responses, you should think throughout your response and don't just vomit out what you got. And you should also have a bank of examples um, for different situations. And those examples will reach out to different syllabus points, different moments in time. It can be used for different arguments. Mm -hmm.